Hey everyone, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. So I'm back with a long-term review update of these Starlight's LED bulbs that I installed way back in March 2014. I did a review of these uh, LED bulbs and I've installed them and used them now full-time since then so they've had a lot of use and recently two have failed so I thought it'd be a good time to update you uh, this one failed and something went uh, inside it smelled really bad and it quit and then I have another one that doesn't look too bad but um, a row of these uh, flash on and off and flicker uh, the other eight that I have they've been fine no problem at all they were here to install to replace these little glass incandescent bulbs and the main reason I wanted them was for boondocking because these draw quite a bit less energy they're a three about a three watt bulb so they're I think I figured out that they draw five times less energy than an incandescent bulb the other thing is I found the incandescent bulbs run extremely hot and they're causing some failures to my fixtures even I guess the rig was about three years old at that time and some of the fixtures were crumbling because in our RV we use a few of the fixtures constantly that's why you see some of them were quite uh, quite uh, brown because they've ran so long like the light above where I work and uh, we leave the light on in the kitchen quite often and Ann uses a light read, reading at night other ones that don't get used near as much they're still in good shape also this was the, the type that to change this bulb in the rig but I did get other ones I got marker lights and the marker lights are still in excellent shape no problem there but you only use those when you're when you're traveling with the RV and also there was some uh, outside porch lights and a couple bay uh, storage bay lights and they're they're in good shape as well so mainly wanted to update you on these but what I wanted to do was take the two that failed apart and see if I can fix them or see exactly what went wrong. Give you a look at one turned on there. You can see I really like these because they were a nice warm light. I find a lot of the, the cheaper bulbs that you can get there just too harsh and white. Some people like a white or a blue light, but I really like this kind of warm. It's more like an incandescent light. But these were super expensive and they still are. I was looking on Amazon. I think they're like go for $18 to $20 each. Whereas a lot of times you can get 10 bulbs for that price. But I guess things aren't all created equal. Anyway, let's take one of those uh, duds apart. So here's what they look like inside. In a small circuit board there. Imagine that's to regulate the voltage. These can uh, be used anywhere from... 8 volts all the way up to 30 volts then they have a, a looks like a copper uh, heat sink on the back of the, the LED pad there so I'm going to unsolder those two pins and can pull that board and I'll try to get that pad out because I think the problem is where they're probably soldered on here or something it's these four segments down here quit keep quitting Okay, got her popped apart. <clears throat> you can see there's a little diffuser panel in there. And then there's the board with the LED segments on. Heat sink on the back. And there's the little regulator board there. A couple transistors and diodes. Let's just fire it on here. There we go. And you can see I just have to touch along here. And those segments come alive. So I imagine what's happened is the the soldering on the board over time, the heat of the small LEDs, because even though you know they're not hot to the touch, over time they will uh, cause heat problems. So I guess if I got a small enough uh, soldering iron, I could get in there and maybe repair it. Anyway, that's what's gone on with that one. Let's go look at the, the other one that's failed. It's completely dead. Yeah, that first one just became flaky and blinking. This one actually failed and started to smell. 
and you can see right in that corner we've got a meltdown. Take that apart, have a closer look. Well, there's the part that melted down right there, that little chip. I looked up the number on it and it's a, a LED driver IC chip. And that's what smelled so bad, <laughs> just roasted. So I thought I'd swap boards and see if I could make one good one out of two bad ones. So I put the, the one LED panel from the bad board into the one that has the bad LED, LED panel. Thought we'd give her a try here. And you can see that's totally hosed. That's probably what overheated that chip. Something's gone funky on that panel. So it looks like I have two uh, bad units. I guess what happens is the LEDs run pretty hot to get the brightness. That's why they need this uh, heat sink on the back here. And eventually the it causes the solder joints to break down and then they start to crack. Then you get some intermittent problems, arcing, things like that. So that happened, like I say, on the two most used ones. So I could have, in hindsight, maybe rotated them uh, from the ones that I don't use very much instead of just leaving them in for six straight years on quite often. So if you do have LEDs in your rig, it might be advisable maybe to rotate the, the ones you don't use very much to the ones that you use all the time because that's what I find you end up using two or three lights almost all the time and a lot of them you rarely use. Well there you go, I thought it'd be good to come back and give you a, a long term update, especially that two failed on me there. I'll post this video onto the, uh, an update on the original post. I'll leave a link in the description below to the original post I did. I totally uh, reviewed all these when I first got them and did tests, uh, current tests and voltage tests on them for you. So, there you go. Until next time, Ray from loveyourrv.com. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers.